A little over a month ago, Honda Middle East contacted us and asked us if we'd be interested in doing a month-long test drive of the all-new 2018 Honda Accord. So basically what we did is we jumped onto Instagram, put up a poll for you guys and the whopping 76% said yes for a long-term test drive. You asked for it and here we have it. But this is not a normal long-term test drive. We've decided to highlight four key aspects over the next four weeks. With the spike in petrol prices being a hot topic for discussion, let's start with fuel economy. Scissors, I win, I drive. Ah. Go. So Honda has done something revolutionary with the all-new Accord. Are you referring to its design? Oh yeah, that too. What I'm speaking about is what they did under the hood. Turbos! Yes, exactly. Say goodbye to the 2.4 naturally aspirated and say hello to a 1.5 turbocharged engine. That means less weight and this engine still produces 15 Newton meters of torque more than the 2.4. Let me show you what that means. <laughs> True, I mean, I do have to agree with you on that revolutionary bit though, because no other manufacturer has done what Honda has done, stopped its naturally aspirated engines and gone only turbocharged, especially in the segment that the Accord competes in. Think Toyota Camry, Nissan Altima, Mazda 6, none of them have yeah. done anything so drastic. That's so true. But wait, before we go any further, let me explain to those watching what we're doing and why we're doing it. In a nutshell, we're trying to find out if this new Accord with its smaller turbocharged engine is more fuel efficient from the previous model, and if so, by how much. Exactly. And let me tell you what makes this fair. Mr. Leadfoot here looks for <laughs> any and every opportunity to it's floor fun, the accelerator pedal. He also lives a lot closer to the office, meaning he faces more city traffic. I, on the other hand, am far gentler on the throttle and because I live much further away, encounter more highway driving. Well, a fair mix then. Especially that both of us have been driving this car for almost a week now. Oh, absolutely. Our average fuel economy figure is as real world as real world figures get. So let me scroll through the menu and tell you what we're averaging. Wait. I what? need to give you the figure we need to beat first. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Drum roll. Ooh, what is it? The old Accord averaged 10.6 liters for every 100 kilometers and had a pretty big 65 liter fuel tank. Wow, tough number to beat. Mm -hmm. Well, the new Accord has a 56 liter fuel tank. It's smaller, but that means, remember, less weight again. Yes. Are you ready for the moment of truth? Hit me. Okay, let me hit the straight, then scroll through this menu, and the average is 9.5 liters for we every 100 kilometers. We Go did Turbo! It. We Whoa! Did it. Let me burn some more fuel in celebration. <laughs> celebrate! Whoa! <laughs> yes! Turbos did it, buddy. Wow. So we've proven that smaller turbocharged engines who save you weight on the car produce more torque and still are more fuel efficient than the old naturally aspirated engines. Yes, we have. We proved it. Do you think this is what Darwin felt like when he proved his theory of evolution in 1859? <laughs> well, I doubt he celebrated this much. Oh, Let's well. burn some more fuel in we celebration. Did we did it. Go turbos. <laughs> wow, I just changed the average on that push. <laughs> So we know the new Accord has a smaller engine and is a lot lighter than the older model, but what else makes it that much more fuel efficient? Well, you see a couple of things. Like you said, it's lighter because of the smaller engine, smaller fuel tank, and Honda put a lot of effort in building this car by using a lot of aluminium. That's right, I think the entire hood is aluminium, right? Yes, true. And that makes the car a lot lighter than the old one. And there's another thing. Uh, it's the gearbox, the CVT. <laughs> I know, I know. 
you know me I don't like them that much I bash on them in my reviews and I still don't like this groaning noise you get from this rubber band effect they make but still I have to confess CBTs do some things right and fuel efficiency is definitely one of them well then there you have it the all-new Honda Accord with its 1.5 liter turbocharged petrol engine is more fuel efficient than the model it replaces making it a good car to combat the increasing petrol prices. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week's episode in which we'll be covering another interesting aspect of this Japanese family sedan. Yalla, we'll see you next week. Bye.